That's fine. There you are. Thank you. Gee, that's swell photography. Well, we better get back to the hotel and get our things packed, because the boat sails at 12 o'clock tonight. Not for me, it doesn't. What do you mean? I've decided to stay a while. In fact, if my plans work out right, I may never go back. Well, you've got to go back or we'll lose our job at the fish market in Des Moines. So the... what? There are plenty of fish markets here in Paris. Uh, garçon? Yes, monsieur. Uh, another glass of milk and two fresh straws. You know what? I think you're hiding something from me. <laughs> oh, roses are red, candy is sweet. This is something I sent you to eat. Olive. Oh, that's too funny. But the flowers are beautiful. Oh. Who? Who is he? He's the American guest, number four. Well, we must not ridicule his generosity. Really, he and his friend are very kind. It was just the fault. <laughs> and the delicious chocolate. <laughs> well, I thought maybe you might want something to nibble on while you were smelling the flowers. Oh. <laughs> 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 About. Stanley, can you keep a secret? Sure. I'm in love. You don't tell me. Who is it? The most gorgeous creature in the world. Hmm. Georgette, the innkeeper's daughter. Well, I don't blame you. She sure is a swell dish. She certainly... Yes, sir. Don't call her a dish. She's the girl that I'm going to marry. Get a load of this diamond ring. Boy, it sure is a load. <laughs> yes, sir. Say, when are you going to get married? Just as soon as I ask her. Why don't you ask her now that we can all go out and celebrate? That's just what I intended to do. We'll get cleaned up and I'll go down and pop the question. That's a good <laughs> idea. I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun now. You sure can't pick them. I never saw them. Are you What are you doing with that cushion? Well, I keep on bumping my head. See? Move it in front of the window where you can stand up. anyone could be so stupid as to stand there and continually bump their head is beyond me. Oh! Why 
don't you stand in the window? Why don't you mind your own business? Oh. Well, there is always a holiday of some sort, eh? What is it? It's this. The girl thinks she's funny. Yes, this one, yes. But remember, Georgette, you are a married woman. And Francois is a little jealous. Oh, Papa, <laughs> he's not serious. Oh, yes. That's just the American way of having oh, fun. Oh, yes, yes, huh? might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, run along, you girls. There's plenty of work. Come, 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 come. Come. Francois! It is so good to see you. After such a long time, why didn't you let us know you were coming? I want to surprise Georgette. Where is she? Georgette! Georgette! Yes, Papa. Uh. Francois! Oh, no. Oh, my darling Georgette. I've waited every day, every hour, every minute. My poor Francois. Oh, I've worried about you way out in that lonely post in Morocco. Oh, it was lonely, terribly lonely, but that's all over now. I've got great news for you. I made arrangements for you to join me when I go back. Oh, Johnny, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, son. You must be hungry. I'll get you something to eat. Well, how about a nice cool drink? Well, that's great. It'll just put me in the mood. Yes, sir. Friend and I would like a bottle of wine and bring three glasses. Three glasses? Uh, we thought maybe you'd like to join us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel as fidgety as a jitterbug. You do? Yeah. What's the matter? Well, I'm nervous. You know, Stanley, this will be the first time I've ever been married. <laughs> Say, that's a good time to Shh. Go on. Why don't you? Oh, go on, tell her. What's the matter? You're scared? I'll tell her for you. Yeah? I know just how you feel. Let me fix it for you. I can fix it. Just as easy. To... Say, he's got something to tell you. Something to tell me? Yeah, he's nuts about you. Nuts? Just plain nuts. Oh, wait. No, I don't mean that. I mean, he's crazy about you. He's going to marry you. Aren't you, Ollie? Go on, start pumping. You want like to marry me? <laughs> Well, that is, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you make fun of me. No, he's not kidding. He's on the level. Aren't you, Ollie? Why, certainly. I was never more sincere in my life. That's very nice of you, I'm sure. But that can never be. Oh, won't you give me one chance, Georgia? Go on, why don't you? Is there someone else? Oh, yes. Very much so. I'm so sorry. Well, that's that. No use crying over split milk. Well, I guess we'd better be going, eh? Come on, we'll... You go ahead. So, matter, aren't you going out with me? I want to be...
be long, darling. No, darling, but it's absolutely necessary I report to headquarters. Will you back right away? Just as quick as I can. Don't worry about it. You'll get over it all right. Just at a time in my life when I needed something real, something wholesome, something tender. Why don't you try a nice fat juicy steak? That'll make you feel better if you have something to eat. You don't understand. Get me some swelling salts. Oh. Oh. That bad Mella. Get this. Get. Well, come on. Get. Get. Get this off. Get. else I can do for you? Yes. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Don't talk to me like that after all the hospital I've given you. Try to give you candy and nice fat juicy steak. I've waited on you with your hands and feet. Try to tell you that there's plenty more girls. You don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> if I felt as bad as you, I'd go and drown myself. Stanley, you've given me an idea. What? I'm going to follow your advice. Good. And I... drown myself. Oh, wait a minute now. Listen, I, I was only kidding. This I... is no time for kidding. I know, but don't you think you ought to think it over? Have you ever been drowned before? I have thought it, it over. And since Georgette has given me the air, I have nothing left to live for. Oh, don't be silly. What do you mean, I... don't be silly? This is a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. Well, I'm I don't want to get my name dragged into this. Yeah. What? What's this for? Now, when I count three, we'll both jump in. What have I got to jump in there for? I'm not in love. So that's the kind of a guy you are. After all I've done for you, let me jump in there alone. Do you realize that after I'm gone, that you just go on living by yourself? People would stare at you and wonder what you are. 
And I wouldn't be here to tell them? There'd be no one to protect you? Do you want that to happen to you? I never thought of that. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, Ollie. I didn't mean to be so dispolite. That's all right, Stanley. Let bygones be bygones. This is going to be easier than you think. Now move this over here for me. you were telling me that when we passed away, we'd come back on this earth in some other form, like a bird or a dog or a horse or something. Oh, you mean reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, now that we're going to go, what would you like to be when you come back? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. I like horses. I guess I'd like to come back as a horse. Huh. What would you like to be when you come back? Oh, I'd rather come back as myself. I always got along swell with me. I mean, you can't come back as yourself. Now, come on and stop wasting my time. Are you ready? Goodbye, Ollie. Goodbye. One. Two. Ollie, just thought of something. Do you think the water's deep enough? Maybe you might bump your head if it isn't just... Well, I never thought of that. up in there. There's a fella watching us. another man. And if I could meet him face to face, what I to him would be nobody's business. Yes, sir. Well, advice is cheap. Maybe if you listen to my suggestion, your problem would be solved. What is your suggestion? Join the Foreign Legion. What for? To forget. Say, that's not a bad idea, Lolly. Better than jumping in here, you could forget and all our troubles. You're right, Stanley. Thank you, mister, for telling us. It was a pleasure. Goodbye, and good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gee, that's great, isn't it? Now we don't have... Say, we can't join the foreign legion. We gotta be back in Des Moines on the 17th. Well, you ready? One. Just a minute, Ollie. Hey, mister. If we join the foreign legion, how long will it take him to forget? No time at all. Just a matter of a few days. Well, that's swell. We'll have plenty of time. Now we don't have to worry about it. Say, we won't need this, will we? No.
sign you to your duties. Reveille at five, you dress quickly, make up your bunks and get ready for inspection. Inspection until seven. Ten minutes for breakfast. You drill until one and march until four. What about lunch? You'll have that while marching. You have inspection until six. Fifteen minutes for mess, kitchen duties until ten, inspection until eleven, then taps. That is all. We have to do all that. You won't have time to forget. Why don't you tell him? Uh, how much do we get for all this work? 100 centimes a day. Well, that's not bad. Uh, how much is that in American money? Oh, American money? Well, it's equivalent to about three cents a day. Of course, it varies with the rate of exchange. Well, how much do we get for overtime? There ain't gonna be any overtime. If you think that you're gonna get that much work out of me for three cents a day, brother, you are crazy. Is that so? Absolutely. Yeah, and that goes for me, too. Because we don't work for less than 25 cents a day. Do we, Ollie? Uh, 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 uh.
the world. <laughs> Haven't I got enough trouble without you making it tougher? Well, it's your own fault. If you hadn't fallen in love with Georgette, we wouldn't be here. Wouldn't have to Will you it? stop reminding me of that? Here I am trying to forget, and you keep talking about it all the time. Now, here's another day wasted. Well, maybe you don't try hard enough. If you can't forget, why don't you try and pretend to forget? How can anybody pretend to forget? Well, I know if it was me, I'd sit down and, and relax. I'd close my eyes, and I'd concentrate, and I'd think of nothing. Wouldn't be long then. That's what I'd do. Say, I think you've got something there. I know I've got something. Why don't you take a whirl at it? Now, don't think of anything. I won't. I know it's tough to forget a swell gal like that. Gorgeous hair and lovely eyes. Beautiful teeth. Ruby lips. Gorgeous. I can see her now. Oh, oh, oh. So can I. Will you shut up? How can I concentrate when you keep talking about her all the time? Now keep quiet. Let me alone. Now sit down. If you don't stop bothering me, I'm going to punch you in the nose. Didn't I tell you to quit that? You'll hear about this later. When you get through with that washing, the cook wants you to manicure them vegetables for tomorrow's stew. I beg your pardon? You heard. Well, can you beat that? How do you think we're going to do all Stanley, this Stanley, I feel something coming over me. You do? A miracle has happened. What? I've completely forgotten. You mean you've forgotten Georgette? Who's Georgette? Gee, that's swell. Now we can finish the washing and we can go home. That is nothing. We're going now. Now you're talking. Absolutely. And I found them asleep. And when I told them to go back to work, they threw wet laundry in my face. Oh, they did, eh? Well, I'll show them what it means to disobey my orders. Goodbye! Bye. Goodbye. Gee, I'm sure glad to get out of this joint. Me too. Have you got everything? Uh-huh. Now we'll go over to that competent guy and tell him we are through. And at the same time, I'll give him a piece of my mind. I don't blame you. Three cents a day. Ha! Left oh, turn. Oh. Left. Turn out the guard and place them both under arrest. Yes, sir. Idea, keeping us waiting. You know what? What? He's not here. Well, of course he's not here. Well, let's go look for him. Look nothing. I'll leave him a note. Oh, I wouldn't bother to leave him a note. Just leave him a P.S. Oh, good enough for him.
Now he can put that in his pipe and smoke it. Maybe he doesn't smoke a pipe. Well, whatever he smokes it. Well, you've got to be careful about those things. in the note, Ollie. I said plenty, and if I could have spelled raspberry, I'd have told him a lot more. That'll learn him three cents a day. Right. my army career have I been so grossly insulted. Just wait till I get my hands on them. Take a plane, are we? <laughs> I should say not. I wonder what keeps them up. I don't know, but I know what keeps me down. Me too. Good old terracotta for me anytime. Promiscuously. <laughs> Josette, darling. Now I'm so happy. At last I'm here with you. Have you missed me? Every day has been a year, darling. I'll bring the car for you. You wait here just a moment.
Could you tell us the way to Railroad Depot? Mr. Hardy! Georgette! <laughs> so you've changed your mind. Darling, I forgive you everything. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I thought you said you'd forgotten it. Don't be silly. How can I forget my little Georgette? Oh. Oh, monsieur, I... I understand. Stanley, we wish to be alone. Come on. <laughs> Oh. Ah! Oh, darling. Oh. Ah. Oh, my. Ah. Oh. oh, this is... No. Oh, please. Please don't give it to Harvey. Ah. What's the big idea? The idea is that this lady happens to be my wife. Oh, is that so? Your wife? Yes, you would-be homewrecker. That's why. But please don't. He did not understand. Kindly step into the car, my dear. I want to speak to this gentleman alone. Now, once more, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Keep away from my wife. If I ever see or hear of you being in her presence again, I'll see to it that your worthless carcass lies sizzling in the desert sun at the mercy of the vultures. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, mister, you don't have to worry about us. We are leaving right now, aren't we, Ollie? We certainly are. Yes, sir. Fall in. Who's he talking to? Fall in. What do you mean, fall in? We're through. Didn't you get our note? Yes, I got your note, and when you signed it, you signed your own death warrant. You're under arrest for desertion. Now, fall in. Oh, we... Call them into jail and have the guard to keep a close watch on them. Yes, sir. Fall in. Eh? Come on, I'll show you to your suite. Get in. Hey, come on. Get in. Don't push me. Revolution, eh? Good, good. Huh. I'll see you at sunrise. I'll, um, um I'll show them where to get off at. But what did we do? What did you do? Sure. Why, you know... Why, you... Get in there. Get in there. Hey, mister. What? You forgot your keys. Look. Why don't you keep your mouth shut? have been found guilty and will be shot at sunrise. There's a nice pickle we're in. Shot at sunrise. I hope it's cloudy tomorrow. Say, Ollie. What? You still want to come back as a horse? I don't care if I never come back.
play another oh. one now. Shut up! Go to sleep! going. This tunnel leads to the outside wall. We are making our escape. Well, are we allowed to do that? Go ahead. Isn't this fun? They don't know where we are. It sure is. I'm dying with laughter. Go ahead. See what you've done? Now we've got to dig our way out. Go back to the cell and get those ten plates. I don't want to go back to the cell. Will you hurry? This is our last chance. What do I have to always do everything? Always me. Me, me. Put your head down. Never you. you. Bring the prisoners. The sun's up. Come on. Like we've been working. I guess you're right. We better start digging up. It's a good idea, man. Oh, stop all this nonsense now. <laughs> Don't you dare go back to Paris again and leave me alone, see? Darling. <laughs> oh, uh, bring up a bottle of that special vintage wine from the cellar, will you? Yes, sir.
outside the fort. Time like this, you had to do that. Quick, help me get her on the bed. Get her feet. Quick, get me a glass of water.
cover up the hole.
Here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Ollie, is that really you? Of course it's me. Gee, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> 